Hello, today is May 18th, 2022. I'm meeting today with Mr. Gerald Anastasia in his home in Loveland, Colorado. My name is Brad Hoops. I'm the interviewer for the Northern Colorado Veterans History Project. Welcome, Jerry, and thanks for sitting down today to tell your story. Welcome, Jerry. Nice meeting you. Let's, uh, let's start out. Tell us a little bit about yourself, your date of birth, where you were born, and a little bit about your family. Well, when were you born, Pop? I was born on July 9th, 1925. Okay, and where were you born? I was born in New Britain, Connecticut. In those days, they didn't believe in the hospital. Wow. I, when I was born, I was still born. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, you never, I never told you this either. Uh, they, they had to take me on the, on the porch and breathe air into me. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. Huh. Uh, after that, I spent most of my life doing nothing. <laughs> uh, I went to service. Well, uh, I'm going to ask you about your service here in, in a little bit, but I want to learn a little bit more about your early life. Uh, you had mentioned earlier, you were telling a very interesting story about your, your father coming over uh, uh, to this country. Can you tell that story? Yeah. The, the one about the, the, the travel? Came, he came over uh, from Greece, your, your father? From Philadelphia. No, no. He over Philadelphia. How did he get to the U.S.? How did Papa get to the U? Papu get to the U.S. How did he get? How did your dad get from Greece to the United States? What's he saying? How, how did how did your your dad get uh, from Greece to America? He came by ship. Yeah. 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 And he was working on that ship as a cook. See, I I, I, I forgot that. Yeah. 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 yeah, he was a, what I used to call a half ass cook. Uh -huh. I never had any experience, but he, I, 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 he found out by being a cook, you get better treatment on a boat. And he landed in Philadelphia, you said? No, with... no he, 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 he landed in New York. Oh, New York, okay. Yeah. And he traveled all over the, the, the country. And why did he get off that ship? He was in the military. Why did he, why did he get off? Because we have we have a picture of him in his uniform. Why did he come? Why did he get off the ship? Do you remember? I guess he was only 16 years old. He was just to make a life for himself. That's right. So he was too young to be in the military, and he just went to take the garbage out. And off he went, and he just kept going. Wow. And then he got on a train and went up to Connecticut? Yeah. Yeah, and that's where he settled down? Yeah. Yeah. And then your mom came over later on, on the ship, a different ship, yes? She, she was came with her family. Nine, nine months old when she came over. Six, six months, six months, but yes. Oh, okay. Yes, with her family of eight kids. Oh. Yes, yeah. and her mother and her father, yeah. So you grew up in Connecticut. Uh, I spent 70 years in New Britain, New Britain Connecticut. Wow. And uh, uh, any brothers and sisters? I got, I, I had uh, four children. No, no. Siblings, your sisters. Your brothers and sisters? Any brothers and sisters? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Do you? Do you have any sisters? Do you have any sisters? Yeah, I have three sisters. Yeah. And how were, uh, what order were you with your sisters? I was the oldest. Oldest, and then you had sisters, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I had three sisters and three daughters. Oh, is that right? Yeah. All girls, <laughs> surrounded by girls. Yeah. 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 And so you went to went to school and, and then graduated? Uh, I didn't graduate. 
uh, my my father had a store that sold. Okay, I'll explain that. It was a grocery store. Okay. Uh huh. But across the street was a the high school, the main high school. So he developed like a deli. Okay. So he was a grocery store plus a deli, but very very much involved in the town, the city at that time, and that is the city where Stanley. Stanley Tools. Okay, that's uh-huh. the, the city that he was very involved in. They used to sell a sandwich and a bottle of soda for ten cents. Wow. Okay, yeah. and they they had so much business, and that's why I never went back to school. Oh, so you just worked in your dad's deli? I worked in my dad's store. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, they had, like I say, 10 cents for a sandwich and a soda come by. And you can, as fast as I could serve them, that's how, how many I could sell. Wow. Huh. I, I'm not exaggerating. We, we sold 30 cases of soda a day. <laughs> a day. Huh. Okay. Pop. Did your family move a lot when you were little? No, no. Are you kidding me? You stayed in the. You stayed in the same house, and there's his grandfather and his grandmother who lived next to him. Uh, his mother's parents. His mother's parents. Okay. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. That was my small, my young wife. Hey, I. I was drafted. So let me ask you a question. Do you remember when Pearl Harbor was bombed? Oh, of course. What, 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 tell tell us your memories of that. Uh, oh, I don't remember a damn thing about it. To be honest, except that it was bombed. Okay. When uh, was Pearl Harbor bombed? December seventh, nineteen forty-one. Forty-one. Yeah. yeah. So you would have been just sixteen. So you would have been yeah, too young. I, I, I didn't even think about it. Oh, okay. Yeah. But then you uh, when then when were you drafted? I was eighteen years old. When you were eight, when you turned eighteen, okay. Yeah, I turned eighteen and oh. they drafted me. Spent. And where did where did you go for basic training? For McClellan, Alabama. Where was the first place you went? Do you remember the first place? So when you got drafted, you had to report to. Fort Devers in uh, Devons in Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Yep. Fort Devons, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's where you went first. Right. And then where did you go after Fort Massachusetts? Where did they send you next? Up there, Fort McClellan, Alabama. And how was that? What was that like going from New England down to the south in Alabama? You know, I was so damn miserable. I didn't even know. <laughs> But it was basic training. Well, a young kid, eighteen years old, and the, the, the war is like a blank to me now. Is it? Yeah, yeah. You know? Well, it must have been hard. I mean, growing up, you really never left home, and now you're down in the south. Did you get homesick? Oh yeah. 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 And, and and how was the training? Was it was it hard to go from being a civilian working in your dad's store to going no, into the army? I watched that all out of my mind. Oh, did you? Okay, all right. I, he says sixteen I, weeks is what he told us. Sixteen weeks he was in Alabama in oh. basic training. Huh. I was just telling him you were there for sixteen weeks yeah. In, yeah. in Alabama. Um, and then you went, okay, and then do you remember what happened after Alabama? After oh, yeah, you tra- went to the Ripple Depot, which is a replacement center. Yeah, where was that at? That was in the uh, Was it here in the States well, or overseas? That was, that was before Alabama. Yeah. Well, no, uh, probably after BASIC. So oh, yeah, it was after basic. Yeah, here in the states, or did you go overseas to, to Europe? It was Repo Depot in in Europe, or no? no. Do you remember that again? Um, 
he didn't specify to us, but where did, when you left the state, where did you go? What country did you go to? Oh, Italy. Italy. Italy, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And we've got the name and, of the town. And, and how was that ship ride? How was the ship from America to Italy? Did, uh, did you get your sea legs or did you get seasick? I had what I call the puke booker. I went through the chow line with that puke booker, throwing up over one side of me and collecting my food on the other side. <laughs> And how, how were the sleeping conditions? Weren't the bunks or... Uh, yeah, they were the bunks. Yeah. 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 And, and he told us it took 30 days to get to Italy by the What happened boats. was we got um, a torpedo caught in our, in our net. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. They have uh, on a ship, uh, they, they had what they call torpedo net. And they hung on our side and they were designed to catch torpedoes. Oh, jeez. Okay, we were in the convoy and... Um, when we, uh, when we when we got caught that torpedo got caught in our net, we had a uh, had a oh we had to get out of the the, the convoy, convoy. The, the group uh -huh. and go up to a ship by ourselves. Oh, so that's what happened the, the last twenty days. I think it was uh, we we were. Uh, isolated by herself. Yeah. Do you remember your sergeant's name? Your sergeant. Mantooth. There it is, Mantooth. And he told us the same Mantooth. He told us the <laughs> same thing. I'll never forget this guy. He said. <laughs> I was in a, and I never told the kids this either. I was in a replacement center. Uh huh. In Italy. In Italy. Uh huh. And uh, that's where you come back. And then I send you out to various places, okay? And in there, with the, not with me, but in there, in with a right, right, right ahead, it was just close up to Audie Murphy. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. My sergeant, my Montooth, won the Congressional Medal of Honor. Okay. And that's the same name that he told us. The same thing, thing. Um, so, Pop. How did you, you landed in Italy? How did you get from Italy or from the coast to the front lines? Do you remember? How did they take? Yeah, you? like I said. Well, what happened was um, the night the what was the, the divisions? Yeah, it was ninety first. No, no, not the ninety first. The, the, um, 91st, 63rd, I don't know if the company, it, it, I couldn't see if it was I L or L. Company. No company? L Company. L Company, okay, okay great. Yeah. So you're in the 91st Infantry Division, the 363 Infantry Regiment, and Company L. Yep. Okay. okay. So how did you get from the coast to the battle. What'd they do? How'd they get all you guys from the coast where you were to the battle? Well, they had a group. Okay. And that group that group was designed to replace people at whatever division or to replace them. And, and they shipped me to the 90, 91st Infantry. Okay. Uh, sounds like they went by truck. Okay. And they were just waiting for the word to say that they needed the replacements. Oh, okay. And then when they called the replacements up, from then they went on by truck. And when they got there, do you remember what happened when you got there, Pop? About the big guns. Remember your hearing? You lost your hearing because of the big guns. Oh. What were you doing? Uh, I was a um, mortar gunner. Okay. And, uh, and, uh, and your job was to do what? Machine gunner. Machine gunner. Oh, you're a machine gunner? 
No, he was using big, they said like 40 and 30 or something. With these things have been thrown out a couple of the size of the shelves. So what my son says by reading it is what they did was they basically they shelled the heck out of it and then they sent the inventory in. He lost his hearing because of that. Um, because again, they were no protection and they were blasting away. So once they bombarded, he and he couldn't remember how long my son said it went on for a couple of days mm. before they actually sent him in. And what, what battle was this? Do you... I wish I could remember because yeah. we, we won the presidential association for it. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So here, here's the name of the battle. Okay. Monticelli. Yes, and apparently it's quite a famous battle. And Jerry, what, what is it like to be in a battle like that? What Were you afraid? Were you scared? Uh, oh, oh, yeah, we were yeah. scared the hell out of it. Oh, I can't imagine. Yeah. But, uh, hey, you were a young 18-year-old kid yeah. uh, stuck up there in the battle. And uh, you just did what they told you. <laughs> oh, boy. Huh. Uh, uh. And, and he told my son that he was scared from the first time they, they uh, my, his grandsons, the first time that they, he had reported for draft duty, he said he was scared right until the end. And he said that, that everybody was scared. I don't blame you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. And you were living in foxholes? I <laughs> for about a year and a half. Yeah. Wow. Out out in the out in the out in the weather and I was in the hospital for two weeks. For, for what happened was, uh, you know, speaking of Fox Hole, uh, I uh, you hurt yourself. You hurt yourself, and you had to go. Oh, yeah. I, I was carrying mortar shells under each arm, and we were in, a, in a, what they call a quiet zone. That's way up the front, okay? And uh, I tripped and fell, and I banged my knee, and I bruised, cut the knee open, and I went to, I stayed in with my foxhole that night, okay? And when I got up in the morning, my knee was stiff, and I couldn't do it. Good work. So they took me to the hospital. I spent my 19th birthday in the hospital. Wow, well, jeez. Uh. So, P P do you remember um, where the hospital was? Pardon? Where was the hospital? Yeah, I would have bought it. Where was it? Do you remember what country? Yeah, Rome. It was in Rome. Going down to Rome? Yeah. 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 And what did what was food like? What did you eat? Mostly gay rations. Gay rations, yeah. 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 Mostly. Yeah. Can you tell about the eggs? Um, find oh. the eggs. We took this town, and uh, they uh, <coughs> so we got there, and. Uh, What did the soldiers do with the eggs? What did they do? They took them. Oh, yeah. And they put them in what? Do you remember? They put them in their helmets. Oh, yeah. They yeah. put them in their helmets, and I guess the sergeant told them, you dopes, put your helmets on, get rid of those eggs. And he said that nobody wanted to do that because they had not had eggs. Yeah, yeah. But so basically, the, the sergeant was telling you, you're stupid, all of you, stop this. Um, I'd like to tell a story about the general on the horse. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 I can't tell her. I don't remember it. Oh. But I, I do remember one of the highlights of my life. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Pop. This is, I didn't hear the last part. The story about, they wanted you to tell the story about the general on the horse. Okay, was this the guy who was on the front lines? You were in the, you were in trenches, and this, we don't know if it was a general or a colonel, 
was riding back and forth with his horse. No, it was two different set of stories. Okay, all right. That, the, the, the one with the, the horse riding back and forth, that I, uh, we could capture a German general, uh, uh, colonel. This is a story then. Or uh, general, I forget which one it was, but anyway. Uh, he, uh, and we, he was on, uh, on the horse, and uh, they just signed me to jab, the jab and keep going, and, and he was pissed. You know, it was a little, little buck guy from the BFC, he could tell me what to do. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, and uh, that's the story that we have in there. So basically, uh, they couldn't leave the prisoners. What were the Nazis doing as you were coming upon them? What were they doing, the Nazis, when you were when you were take when you were chasing them? What did they do? Surrender. They were surrendering. Wow. He says tanks. He said hundreds of men. So they couldn't leave these prisoners. So they took them with them. They ran. They ran out of gas. The Germans did. Ran out of gas. So they were all coming back from the front lines and surrendering. Huh. And they were overwhelming us. You know. And you had to guard him? Yeah, that was the idea to guard him. Wow. Uh. So he was told to keep this guy moving, and that's what the story is about. And basically, uh, he didn't like this. This Whatever rank this guy was, he was a high-ranking yeah, yeah, Nazi. Yeah. He wanted the other Nazi prisoners to carry his stuff, and this punk said, no, you <laughs> carry your own stuff, Nazi. <laughs> yeah, and that's the story. <laughs> and then I had, a, I had a little problem with a general up on the front line. Uh oh. And this was one of our generals. Pardon? This was a U.S. general, right? An army general. Yeah, this was an army general. And what, what was this guy doing? Right? He was he was surveying the land uh -huh. to see what the what the going to next move was, and he he was in a, like a, an area where he, he could look out. Okay. And uh, he uh, he was come up and, and we we identified we didn't identify anything. I didn't, I didn't know there was a general. He was a oh general. right, sure. And he didn't know I was well, I was a private. And uh, he uh, they kept shooting at him, and every shot that they shot was high and going over my head. And I, I didn't realize he was a general because there the, the a whole bunch there, and he was just uh, I said, hey, stupid. Get the hell out of the way, you're in my line of fire. <laughs> you know what he said? Sorry, soldier. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. And, and, and this is kind of disturbing, and I don't know if you want to put this in, but when we were younger, we lived in Connecticut, mm -hmm. and when the spring would come, the worms would come out, and it would smell. And he said when we were younger, all the time, it smells like dead Germans. Oh, wow. And uh. he used to say that, and he still said, he said it. You I could smell them. Yeah. <laughs> you actually smell them. Uh. And so we explained to him that, you know, it was the worms, but... He would say that, and we didn't like that as kids. But what he that what he was telling us, and what my son read, is there were so many dead Germans as they were passing through, that that's the smell that was overwhelming them. Another story I like to tell is about when we we got into this small town, and uh, they. Uh, So when you went to the small town, with, what, the, with the wine. Oh, with the, and where did you get the wine from? From the, 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 the people in the town. The, the, you know, they used to build their, their own barrels mm -hmm. and make their wine in a barrel. Mm -hmm. They came up to us with, a, with an ox cart full of a 50 gallon drum of wine and help yourself. I was digging in with my kitchen. I drank so much wine that I got the next day and I got drunk again <laughs> and I could pee purple. <laughs> <laughs> but it was the fun time. Wow. How, Jerry, how was it? I mean, you were living in a foxhole out in the weather. 
you weren't eating very well, you weren't getting enough sleep, your hygiene wasn't that well. I mean, any of those things would knock a man down, but on top of all that, you had the worries of war. How do you think you made it through that time? You know, you just didn't even think of that. Really? They, they, they told you what to do when you did it. Yeah. And that's my, my version of it. Anyway. Yeah, but sure. It, it be other. But yeah, it, it, it's just something you have to get done. Yeah, okay. You know, I was too, too young to, to try to plan on doing something. Yeah. You know, they, uh, you, you can't suggest anything to them. <laughs> they will listen. Uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was uneventful. It was, I don't remember why. It, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't. Uh, I'm sorry, Pop. He, you, yeah. go on. he doesn't tell many stories about what went on, but he did say that he remembers having to break the ice on his helmet, which has had water in it, to wash oh, his yeah. face. Oh. Yeah, so he does, that's one of the things that he has said, that in the story about the smell that he had. I, I can't imagine trying to shave with ice cold water. You know, I don't know if I was old enough to shave. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that says something right there. I really don't remember. To be you don't remember shaving because... <laughs> I don't remember when I was, when I was just it was a little story, a side story. My grandson... The picture he joined the Air Force. And uh, the first day he went there, I made him shake twice a day. Oh, that's right. Because he's a Greek with a lot of, yeah, with a lot yeah, of hair. Right, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. so uh, you, you, your unit just kept moving up, up Italy then? How far did you guys uh, go before? Did you stay in Italy or did you? Well, I stayed in Italy and I walked up. I walked, literally walked. I mean, I did a lot yeah. of riding. Right. Right. But I walked from Naples, Italy, to Yugoslavia. <laughs> wow. Wow. I, we, right, right up the spine, huh? Right up the, right up the, yeah. the, the, the boot. Wow. wow. And so you were in Yugoslavia, at the Yugoslavia border when the war ended then? Yugoslavia was... Where we were for the, for about a week, we were here and they were there. Okay, right, face almost face to face to face, and uh, they had the, the artillery ships, guns pointed at each other, and if any one of the person made a mistake, there was a war, another war, you know. Uh, but uh, other than that, it was just a war. Hmm. And so then you're now on the border of Yugoslavia and Italy. Yeah. And they're telling you that you're now going to pack up and you're going to go somewhere else. Where did they tell you you were going next? You were going to get on a boat and you were going to go somewhere. Do you remember? Oh, that, yeah. Uh, we were uh, we were on a boat scheduled to go to go to Japan. Japan. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do that. No. Oh uh, boy. But anyway, scheduled to uh, 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 we were going to Japan. Yeah. I was walking up the gang plank. And all hell broke loose, shooting the guns, and, oh. and, and it was, the war was over. Oh. Okay, so instead, we were on the boat, and instead of going to Japan, we went to the United States. Oh, they went boy. to Georgia, is what yeah. he's thinking, that they went back to Georgia. So, so there was two two times. The uh, the first time when Germany surrendered. Do you remember when when uh, Germany surrendered? Yeah. Was there a celebration then, too? Oh, yeah. I, I, for some reason, I don't remember that. Okay. But you do remember, obviously, when uh, VJ Day, when oh, Japan yeah. surrendered. Oh, yeah. Oh, that must, it must have been a wonderful feeling knowing that Whatever. you made it. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. And, and when you arrived back in the States, do you remember how they treated you? 
I well remember it. The first thing they did was <laughs> took our order for what it was our favorite meal. Okay. The second thing was easy. They, they gave us a ice cream and milk. Oh boy. Uh, fresh eggs. Uh, yeah. Uh. How long were you overseas? How long were you in Italy? Do you remember roughly? No? Uh, do you guys remember? I, I don't because we can't get, we don't know the date that he went to, but is it up on this? This one is saying 44. Okay, so. It's saying 1944 is what they're saying. February of 1944. So roughly a year then. About You're a year. Yep. About a year overseas. Yeah. yeah. With, oh, so it must have been nice to get home and eat regular food and ice cream. And, oh, yeah. Fresh milk. And, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was great. Yeah. And how was it uh, with communications home to your parents? Did uh, you, you write letters back and forth? Well, honestly, we didn't have much time for that. Yeah, is that right? Yeah. I, I don't remember it. Talking to them at all. Oh, okay. No, I didn't say it didn't. We didn't, but I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, it wasn't... I, I, I... No, I don't remember. Okay. Don't forget, there was no cell phone. You know? hey, well, of course. Now, yeah, the only choice you had was to write letters. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did you get news? Did you know what was going on, you know, with the war had, and what baseball had, scores? We had a paper, which they call the Stars, Stars and Stripes. Stars. Okay. Yeah, that's, that was our attachment to what we were. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Did any uh, uh, USO shows ever come over? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah? Do you remember any of those? Or anybody, any star that you remember seeing? You know, I don't know where he's ever saw one. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, my son says probably not because of they were in I'm, such intense battle. Yeah, okay. That they, they, was, they would not bring performers. See, to we, them. we relieved uh, uh, the 91st infantry is from uh, California. Okay. And, uh, we, they, they got hit at Anzio. They got creamed at Anzio. Okay, so you joined them after Anzio. I joined them after Anzio. Okay. 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 That's when I joined them. Yeah. And how did how did the the regulars, those guys that came from Anzio, how did they treat you replacements? Did they? Oh no, very good. Oh, did they? Okay, yeah, good. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there was no problem there. Yeah. And you talked about your sergeant. Did you Did you like your sergeant? Did you have respect for him? Or you know, I didn't realize that at the time, but he was a good guy. Was it? Yeah. 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 You know, he, he got in your face once in a while. And uh, first sergeant, like I say, won the Congressional Medal of Honor. Yeah. Wow. He was an old Kentucky man. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he, he was a character. <laughs> uh. We did a 20, mile, a 20 mile, mile march. I forget how many hours. But With full backpacks and everything. Full backpack and, oh. and weapons. Oh, boy. Uh. Uh. So you said you, you uh, after the war you came back you landed back in Georgia. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then how much longer were you uh, uh, in the army before uh, you were discharged? Oh, I would say a week. Oh, oh, really? Okay. They, they didn't fool around. Where did they send you? Where did you go? You you had money. They gave you money. Again, they we went to Massachusetts. Okay, and that's where you were discharged in at Fort Devon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then. You went, and then ask him where he went from there. Where, where did you go from there then? I I don't remember the day, but I remember I took the train to Fort Devon mm -hmm. and the bus 
Anyway, I, I was on a bus going to take, they were taking me home. Oh. And I was, <clears throat> I got, got off in front of the store, took my tie off and went to work. Oh, really? Oh, jeez. Because oh. I could probably say that I never had a day that I didn't have a job. Wow. Uh, after all you've been through, you didn't want to take a, a, a rest or a vacation, you just went right to work, huh? I went right to work. Yeah. You know, what else am I going to do? Yeah, yeah. I'll bet your, your family, particularly your mom, was so glad to see you. Oh, God, I, can't, I, I don't remember, but I'm sure. Uh, yeah. I can't imagine, you know, the whole time you were in Italy, she probably worried about you. Well, fortunately, they were, they were Italian. Yeah. And uh, I got demoted from a PFC. Uh-oh. So they told me I, I was in Naples, and my grandparents lived up in the mountains in, in Naples. And I wanted to, we were there, going to be there for a couple of days, and I wanted permission to go, go to visit her. They said, no. We're going to be leaving. So I said, okay. So I... And so you think that you... Well, I took the... I went up there and visited him and come back and got busted. It was, it was worth it. it. I was just going to say, it was worth it. <laughs> and this would have been great grandparents. Yes, okay. Because, again, these uh -huh. parents right. came... So, yeah, I, I don't know that story. We have not heard that story. Hmm. All right. So, you came back, you went to work, but you went somewhere else. Where else did you go? What do you mean, to work? No, you went, did you go back to school? Oh, I, I went to a county school. Well, first of all, I went, they had a, a program where uh, if you're 11, in 11th or 12th grade, you, you take a course, you remember that? And, and to get your degree, a high school degree? Uh-huh. I, I did that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where he met my mother, uh -huh. was going back to high school, so he was quite a bit older than the, the folks that were there. Sure. Yep. So, yeah. So, so that's where he went. Um, and I don't know. He's he's told us the name of that program, but you probably might know uh, that yeah. name of that program of when they went back to school. Okay. I don't remember the name. And then once you finished high school, that and did you continue on at your dad's store, or did you? Yeah. Do it? yeah. I continued in the store until we got, got married. Okay. And then I, T tell me how you met your wife and, and how you wooed her. <laughs> Be careful what you say here, Pop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. I really don't. <laughs> uh, he was not well liked by my mother's family. Oh. They considered him kind of a lazy playboy uh -oh. person. <laughs> Sorry about that. I wasn't a good guy. I know that. So they didn't like his work ethic. Really? And he also came from a family that was considered very wealthy because they had a business uh. that was succeeding and owned lots of land. So he was not, did, did your, um, did mommy, did um, Rosario like you, Papa? Did, did grandpa, did um, mom's dad, Rosario, did he like you? Oh, Josephine's family, did oh, they like you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you a funny story about that, okay? Yeah. Um, I was forbidden to talk to him on the phone. I couldn't go, go, go with her, okay? And uh, How did you oh. get word to her? How did you... Oh, um, her, her brother was a, a, a little younger, and when I called, I forget what my name was, 
But, Joey. You would call yeah, him. Yeah, but what, what is Joey? I, I, I answered, Joey would answer, answer the phone. And then uh, you tell her. And what, how would Joey, her brother, get her to the phone? Something about the phone, the name or something like that. Yeah, he would make up a name oh. so that he could talk, so she could talk on the phone. So he was covering, wow. but he and was defying the grandfather, the father of this family. Now, would, would, really into each other pretty good. And uh, her sister, which is always older than her, uh, graduated from nursing school, and they had a prom, and uh, she uh, she was supposed to. Oh no, that's my son. She. Did you go to any dances with mom? No, she wouldn't. They wouldn't let her go to a dance. But then when it comes from time for her, her sister's prom, I had to take her. Oh. You had to take the sister or? Her mom? sister, yeah. You had to take her sister because yeah. she was the oldest in the family. They were really pissed because they were the oh, oh, you got to be the oldest before you can get married. Uh, uh. And he stayed married to that woman till she died. <laughs> Yeah, she died about 10 years ago, and he stayed married to her, and yeah, it's a, it's a love story. Wow, wow. <laughs> it's a love story. Uh, so did you go on to make the grocery business your career then? No, actually what happened was, you know, he couldn't afford to pay me much. Yeah. You know, he needed more money. There he is at, um, I think it was your 75th birthday, we had a big party uh, for him, and yeah. that is... We'll, we'll record that, yeah. Yes, and that is my mom and him. Yeah. Where were we? All right, so after you we were working in the store, you wanted to do something. What did you want to do? All right. You wanted to find another job. I forgot. Okay. Full of brush. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh Jesus, oh, that was those were the days. And I have that pin at my house that he had. No, I wonder why I forgot that. <laughs> right, that's right. And that's what you went on to do for your career with the oh, Fuller Brush Company? No, I ended up owning my own company. Oh, did you? Yeah. Me and another fellow, one partner, we sold nuts and bolts. Okay. Okay. Uh, Mask production. In other words, I didn't sell you the mask. I sold a general electric. Oh, okay. And a, yeah. a Stanley tool. A wow. Big, uh, so large quantity. And uh, very successful. So you're a supply company? Yeah. It, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. Very successful. Wow. <laughs> How many, how many years did you do that? I think it was three years. You know, I, I can't answer that question, but I know that he, his father said, you have to have a job before you can leave the store. So that kept pushing him. So you did full of brush. Then you owned a bar, restaurant. Oh, yeah, yeah. He owned a bar and a restaurant, trying again to make his own way. And then... After that, you began working as a salesman. You began selling nuts, screws, and bolts. Well, yeah, but... That was, that was but you didn't good. have your business yet. You, no. You, you formed your business. Yeah, so, and then he worked there till he retired, and it was called, what was the name of your business you formed? Production Fast And it was a very successful mm. business. Wow. And, um, is, and that was in, um, just outside of New Britain, right? Newington? Where was that located, Pop? Was it Newington, Connecticut? Yeah. 
So in the meantime, he had moved to Berlin, Connecticut, okay. which was the, the train station that he arrived on and left on. And he moved back there and had a, it with his family, and that's where he, uh, with his own, he and my mom. And so that's when he started the business, kind of at that point. And another partner. Yeah, wow. Oh. That's wonderful. And he was the salesman on the road um, while his partner was doing the other parts. Gotcha. And his whole life he has been very involved in charity. Uh -huh. He has been, but, but specific. This was a clinic for children that I worked at and he formed a, uh, the Wheeler Clinic pop. What do you say about the Wheeler Clinic? We broke off one day. For them, and they. One of the guys says, "I'd like to have a charity golf tournament." So uh, we got the three, three other guys, and we got together. And you tell them about the story. I was working at the clinic and bringing the kids home. They were mm. boys aged 3 to 12, and on the weekends they would come swimming in his pool. And he said, what do they need? And I said, this is what they need, Pop. And so once he realized it wasn't love that they needed, this is what they needed. And so they then, they went on to build a, a baseball field. A, a in, house a, a, for a pregnant woman. Wow. Yes. And they went on to... that picture. Yeah. Yes, I probably can show them the thing. So they built, um, they built a gymnasium. They built a running track. They um, put a, an indoor pool in. So this is what this charity through this golf thing did. And again, um, the clinic is still operating today. Wow. Oh, yeah. and there's that we... That, uh, we used to say that we buy... Uh, my partner would go go up and say, "Give me ten percent, uh, a thousand dollars before you go off this day." Let's go. We, we we made. I think I has got the number in there. You know, I I don't pop, but I do have the list of the things. Oh no, yeah, that just. You, yeah, Just so, the list tells you there was a lot of money raised. So yeah. basically they were upgrading the whole facilities and again he talked them into it because they, they didn't care they're golfers. Yeah, yeah. And they're going to have a tournament anywhere so um, yeah. And then you worked in your job. How many kids did you have? How many children did you have? You and Josephine. Four children. And you had three girls and a boy and a son. Uh -huh. yeah. And the son was born last year. Uh -huh. I had three, uh, three sisters and three daughters. Yeah, right. <laughs> You're a saint. <laughs> sure can handle a woman. <laughs> <laughs> and he retired. And then you decided he was looking for a place. He was going to go to Florida. Okay. So, Pop. Yeah, I can show them the pictures when we get there. Yeah, and so, what we'll do is we'll we'll record all the pictures afterwards yeah, and, yeah. and tell the so story. This is just yeah. so he wants you to see this. Yeah. So then you moved from Connecticut after living there seventy something years. Where did you go? Arizona. Arizona. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and there he is. Yeah. He's had a pool his whole life, but once again he had a great life. Wow. Yes. And so everybody. That was the best 16 years of my life. Yeah, you, you liked Arizona. Yeah, yeah I was, I loved it. Well, quite a bit different than Connecticut. I lived in a, a community. Okay, that had three golf courses, three swimming pools, uh, tennis courts, Restaurants, pretty much okay. everything you want. Uh, Sun, Sun City or? Uh... It was fenced in. And we had three golf courses, which I love. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that's where he lived until he was 90, but my mom passed away prior ah, to that. Okay. And he then decided to come up here to come closer to. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah. 
to come closer up here, but he had lived there for 20 years. So, mm. once again, yeah. that was <laughs> that was a good How life. How much remember the, the, the amount of money we raised? You know, I, I do have it in there, but that's okay, Pop. Yeah. We just know that you did a tremendous amount of work. Um, the other thing, my mom wanted to go to Europe. Ah. And she wanted to go to Europe um, and visit some relatives and get to Greece and see where his father was born. And when he, when she asked him, you know, let's go, he said, no. The last time I was there, they were shooting at me. <laughs> <laughs> so he told him, that was a war, pop. <laughs> but he didn't want to go back because that's all he remembered yeah, was. Yeah. It was not a good experience. But oh, boy. you did go to Italy and, yeah. and Greece. Did, did you go back to the places where you, where you were in battle, or did you stay no, away? No, I didn't. Yeah. I, I really didn't give a damn. Yeah. I, you know, I, I got out of there happy, alive, and I was happy. Yeah, oh, sure, yeah. Through the years after the war, did you ever keep in touch with any of the buddies you served no, with? The problem there was, like, if you remember, I, 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 assigned, I was assigned to a, a West Coast. Oh, right, so they were, okay. I never, I lived on the East Coast. Yeah. And I just didn't. Yeah. Did, you, did they ever have any reunions? Anything? Oh, yeah. Did, I, did you I, ever go to any of those, or well, once again too far I away? Mean, it was, it was, I had no interest. Yeah, oh, sure, yeah. Because I lost my, one of my best friends. Oh. And, uh, yeah. That was it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, boy. Huh. And what my son says is that they lost a bit considerably high casualties. He has said he thinks half the group yeah, didn't come back. Probably. Yeah. Is what he thought. Pop, you remember you talked about how many people died from this group and didn't come back? I, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so he doesn't know the number, but he has expressed several times that a lot of people in that picture. I found out that, that there's a hundred, one hundred, and uh, maybe ten or so of World War II veterans. There were a hundred of that. Mm. I said that they had anyway. Wow. So you had four children, uh, and Gail will probably answer this. She probably knows the numbers, but. How many grandchildren and how many great grandchildren? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know I got at least one great great grandchild. Great great! Wow. <laughs> Look at what you did. Yes. Yeah, so there's his family. This is the three sisters and my brother. Uh -huh. These are the first group of grandchildren. These are the group with the great-grandchildren and the grandchildren, and then here's the great-great-grandchild. Uh, Whoops. Wow. And there he is. Uh, there. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, outside of that year when you were in Italy, it sounds like you've had a wonderful life. <laughs> yeah. 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 One of the worst days of time in my life. Yeah. Yeah. It just was. But fortunately, I don't remember much of it. Well, that's good. Yeah, that's good. So when you got home, you didn't. Did you ever have the nightmares or anything like that that a lot of people have? Uh, no, I, you were able to put it behind you, huh? Yeah, I was able to put it behind me. Yeah. Yeah. And I was up there, right? Yeah. Right. 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 right, 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 right. Well, I just can't imagine what it must be like <laughs> being in battle like that, being shot at and the, the shells and losing your friend. I, I can understand why you put it behind you. Yeah, I lost it for two friends. Two friends. Oh. And again, 19 years yeah, old. Yeah, right. Yeah, he's 19 when this is going on. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Well, as we wind down this interview, uh, Gail, I'm going to lean on you to, uh, to talk about any, I know we only got probably the tip of the iceberg of his story, but anything else we want, you want to talk about or ask him that uh, stories or such that you, 
he left out or uh, you wanted to know more about anything to hopefully round out this as best we can. Yeah, so I, I don't know the name of these things, yeah. but, but um, apparently it was a very well decorated, they were well decorated. Yeah, the, well, the presidential citation, uh, yes. I see that. Uh, well. Yes, so um, I told Brad that I don't know the name of these medals, but that, so he um, never talked about them, didn't yeah. know that he had them, they were in a safe, and we kind of discovered them. The same thing with the book and the information that we have. He, once again, never said anything about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. most don't. Yeah. But as we started... Uh, looking at it and researching we realized that there was quite a bit going on when he joined the VA here for the health benefits they then told him these are the citations they, they had a list of everything and they said find these and get them get them displayed you know because these are extremely valuable sure so we, we do have them um, at this point yeah. But again, I don't know the names. Yeah, that's of all, fine. Yeah, of all the names of those, and again, his original draft mm -hmm. card, which is quite, uh, yeah. Well, Jerry, is there anything I didn't ask you that you wanted to talk about? Uh, that I'm any, sorry, any, I don't, I don't, I'm not too much excited to talk about this. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, well, I'll uh, I'll respect that. And, yeah. 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 Well, well, very good then. Well, then I will uh, we'll close down this interview. I want to thank you for sitting down today and let me uh, chew, uh, chew up your afternoon. But more importantly, I want to thank you for your service to our country. Thank you. Do you like sports? <laughs> That's my life. <laughs> and your first team you liked. Who was the first team that you liked for football? New York Giants. The New York Giants. And he got a lot of... Now he follows the kind of, kind of, the yeah. Arizona Cardinals. Oh, okay. Yeah. After living there, but he still has interest. Who do you? Who was your first team in baseball? Uh, New York Giants. No, no, Red. Who's the team? Boston's team. Oh, the Red Sox. The yeah. Red Sox. That's right. So he's been a lifelong Red Sox, and then now. Who's the team you follow now? The Diamondbacks. The Diamondbacks. Oh. So they converted him in Arizona, and he lived, you know, 20 minutes from baseball training. Um, so he was able to go to all the spring games. He went to the stadium several times. He had a friend who had season tickets. So once again... Where well, we lived was all spring training. There must have been six teams. Oh, boy. Baseball heaven. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> yeah. mm. Very good. This is my father's grandfather, and this is Jerry's grandmother. And now this is on his mother's side, so it's the on Italian. On his mother's side. Okay. We, we do not have any pictures of the Greek family. Oh, okay. Because again, my grandfather left young. And this is my mother and her sister. Your mother? My mother. This is my mother and her sister. Oh, okay, yeah. And this um, is the one he had to take to the prom oh. because he couldn't take the other one. <laughs> this is Jerry in his basic training group taken just before they were about to be shipped off. It says February 1944 on it. He is the second guy in, in the third row. This is when he was drafted, and here he is when he was 92 years old. Wow. This is the battle that he was talking about. Okay. This is more information about that battle. Okay. This describes the division that he was in, 
the 91st. And then it talks about the men of Connecticut. And there he is right there with the story about the German Nazi that he was in charge of to move along. Zero in and see if we can't get that story. Can bring it up to you? Yeah, it's just close. Get a few minutes for people to be able to read it here. This is another book about the division that they were coming in to help. Okay. This was a book that was given to everyone who fought in that battle. And it describes the battle and the people who fought in it. And there it is right there. It's true, this 363rd Infantry Regiment. These are his um, discharge papers. That's the um, original copy that's been framed. So he got out. It says 28 November Um, that, that they were doing for the clinic and I don't know how old he was then don't know his age and there's your mom swinging there's my mom that's what he says Josephine he always says if you want to know what she's like these two pictures tell it best <laughs> oh, I'm getting some terrible player there but Oh, making some pasta? <laughs> yes, she's, well, she was a great cook, so, yeah. and that's one of the reasons why he's having such a hard time in other places, because he lived with the greatest cook. And then this next picture is uh, with the grandchildren? Yeah, this is the, um, the wait, let's go. This is, this is his children. Okay. So his three girls and a boy. Uh-huh. And then your mom and your dad. And my mom and dad. And then this is his grandchildren. Okay. And this starts the great-grandchildren. Okay. And here's the last great-grandchild right there. <laughs> the passion for golf later in life. And this is really what got him to move to Arizona. And there he is, 75 years old, and he shot a 78, wow. which was a big deal and a big celebration. And this is the group that we're taking here. And this video group, this was the people who were part of the fundraiser.